So as most of you know, I've had several different co-hosts throughout the years of doing this. And I always send a message to all my co-hosts and people that I believe would be great co-hosts on ideas of subjects to talk about for the podcast. And a few of them have suggested that they interview me and, you know, ask about Hartford County living and why I got started and all that, which I already did. I mean, Richard Wilmore was one of my co-hosts, and I did his show a while ago. On this episode of Hartford County Living, I decided to do a little role reversal. Not with somebody that co-hosted the show with me before, but somebody that contacted me and wanted to interview me. So on this episode of Hartford County Living, Jesse Cunningham of Mountain View Insurance Solutions decided he wanted to invite me to his office and interview me and find out more about Harford County Living. So if you don't know who Mountain View Insurance Solutions is, I'm about to tell you who they are. They were founded in 2016 with the goal of serving the local community of Harford County. Jesse Cunningham IV and his son Jesse Cunningham V, who's the one that actually interviewed me today, decided to combine their expertise of over 35 years' experience in the insurance industry and form Mountain View Insurance Solutions. Now, you may be asking, well, what do they offer? Auto insurance, boat insurance, high net worth insurance, home insurance. Also, you know, when it comes to financial protection, annuity, disability insurance, life insurance, long-term care insurance. No matter what, they can help you. So give them a call at 410-262-3176 or visit them at MV, that's M as in Michael, V as in Victor, insurancecompany.com. That's mvinsurancecompany.com or give them a call at 410-262-3176 and tell them Rich from Hartford County Living sent you. the Harford County Living Podcast with Rich Bennett. Thank you for coming and please send any suggestions or comments to podcast at harfordcountyliving.com. The Harford County Living Podcast is produced for your enjoyment and show notes can be found at harfordcountyliving.com. Come back often and feel free to add the podcast to your favorites RS feed or iTunes. All links are in the show notes. Now let's join Rich Bennett and his special guest. Rich Bennett of HarfordCountyLiving.com. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Jesse. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, uh, HarfordCountyLiving.com is a website I started back in 2012. Um, I used to do sales for a while and I at a radio station. I left the radio station and I wanted to start this to for a few reasons. Okay. Number one, I wanted to promote good, positive news. Okay, I love it. One thing I cannot stand is watching the news, reading these newspapers, and seeing all the negative stuff. Yeah. So that was the first goal. Second goal was to promote basically everything Harford County. Mm. Businesses, events, people, the you know, arts, all that. So not just businesses, people too doing awesome people, things. People too, the events that are going on, and the other thing was nonprofits. Mm, right. You know, uh, I, yeah, I, I was in the nonprofit world for a while, I still am technically, and it, it's, they need to be out there more. More people need to know about them. Right. Um, and the thing that I didn't like, when you, whether a business or a nonprofit, if you're a small one, advertising is expensive, really expensive. And a lot of the smaller companies and nonprofits can't afford that. No, they just won't do it, period. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's when, when I started HartfordCannyLiving.com, that was my goal. I wanted, I don't care if you sold Avon or if you're in a car dealership. You should be able to afford advertising. And that, that was the other goal. So you're and, able to customize it because you're the owner. You yeah. made the website. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yep. And I know we were discussing before this started, um, 25,000 unique visitors. A month right a month. now, yeah. So... You know, there's a difference between total visitors because your total was around 50,000. Yes. But unique means 
there's a difference. Of new the, one, right, like new, new ones. ones. Exactly. Right. So you, you have repeat people come in and new ones. Yeah. And that's a pretty robust website if you have 50,000 people come in per month. Yeah. Right? And, mo- and the majority of them are, you know, from here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can tell you, I know I do have uh, visitors in England, uh, Italy, Alaska, Arizona. Yeah, so, and who knows how they're coming across the keyword and getting to the website? A lot of them because they're friends, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that helps. And I tell them, so it, it, I think that's helped with the podcast. And some of them, when they come here to visit, this way they can look ahead of time, too. Mm. You know, what's going on in Hartford County? You know, what are some of these? You'd be surprised how many people that live in Hartford County don't even know about a lot of the historical places to visit. Yeah. Which, it's, Harford County, there's so much to do here. And a lot of people just don't know. Yeah, little things like Jerusalem Mill. Because me and you are from Joppa Town, right? Right. We're both Joppa Town boys. Um, We have Merritt. Yeah, Mariner Point Park, all these cool places you can go, but yeah. how are you going to find out? Right. And there are resources, but sometimes they're buried, too. Exactly. So if you have a website that has that many visitors, you're not buried. No. Right? Because no. I could create a website right now, the 100 best places to visit in Hartford County, but it's it's buried, Yeah. and no one will find it because it takes domain authority to find it. And you have it. So it's really cool to be able to use your platform for good, right? Yeah. I mean, that's and I was actually talking about good. That was the hardest thing when I first started. Hardest thing to find was good, positive news. Really? I'm serious. <laughs> you would not believe how frustrating it was just to try to find good, positive news. Mm. And then finally, you know, I had and today people are sending me press releases or news, and so that helps. But let's talk about that because a lot of it is from press releases or yes. someone saying, "Hey, Rich, check this out." <clears throat> yeah. If if someone's watching. And they have something good they think should be on the website. How do we go through that process? All they have to do is, you know, especially, and I I urge a lot of students to do this. Because if they want to do creative writing, this is the way to do it. You know, um, write the article. Write something up. You know, and if you want links in there, you know, let me know what the link, put it you know, in there. Do it in Word format, you know, in Word you can highlight the sure. thing and put the link in there. Easy. Send it to me with photos. Photos are key. You know, it's like the old Rod Stewart song, every picture tells a story. Mm. And you have to have pictures, otherwise people aren't going to click on it. Right, right. So, and just email it to me. So I, I created this nice, how many words? I don't care. Really? Just... I, it doesn't matter to me. Seriously. And we went through this. My brother-in-law does a lot you know, for me, too. He wrote an article and sent it. Uh, I'm not going to mention the name of the paper, but sent it to a paper okay. about volunteering and stuff like this. And they told him it was too long. He had to cut it down to, I think, like 700 some words. Okay. It was over a 1,000 words. It's a big article. Yeah. So he did, and they posted it. But when you do that, I think you're missing a lot, too. Sure, yeah. So I told him, I said, hey, Lyle, I said, you know, we're welcome to put on Hartford County Living. <laughs> so he does. And he's an awesome writer. He does a little... He's an excellent history buff. Mm. Um, he's written some good history articles. One about job, you know, Joppa Town, and, um, steamships. Oh, cool! Yeah, and actually, there was an old steamship called Joppa. So, oh, wow. um, and about volunteering for you know Lions and Leos. Mm. You know, yeah, because you're involved in the Lions Club too. Over twenty years. Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Because your yeah. HQ is in Copen, is it Cop- in Copenhaver Park, Robert yeah. Copenhaver Park, off of Tribble. Yeah. But to focus on the website, if I was a small business owner mm-hmm. and I want more uh, views on my website, mm-hmm. a good way to do that is to get backlinks, right? right? Because it shows Google, like, look, oh, they may be important because Harford County Living.com is pointed to them, right? So it's just a way to show, like, who are my friends online? If a business has some good content. They should write up an article, nice picture, with a mm-hmm. link back to their website. And you're open to that. Oh, yeah. And matter of fact, it's one of the things we do. We feature a business of the week. And a lot of people think it, it's only on Facebook hmm. that we feature this business. No, we actually write up an article on the website with their link. You know, that's the one thing is they have to have a website, whether you're in business of the week, artist of the week, nonprofit of the week, or restaurant of the week. You need a website. 
Yeah, and we put your link in there, and if you have your social media links on your website, we put them on there, too. And that's an awesome service. Yeah, and that's free. I mean, that's something we, that's just my way of supporting other local businesses, because I'm big, well, you know, I'm big on supporting local. Right, you know, yeah, that's, always posting on that. I love yeah. it. But it has to be positive. Right. Um, so, if you had a perfect world, how would you like the community to, to interact with your website and moving forward what is the vision here what um wow <laughs> the vi basically i guess to get more people to know about harford county um one of the things i'm looking for now i'm looking for a a lot i like exclusive stuff okay um and right now i'm looking for an exclusive realtor yeah to be one of my sponsors okay and that realtor would be able to put their postings on the website, you know, and share everything out. So all their listings right there. All their listings in Hartford County would be right there. Mm. You know, and for people, like I say, you know, people in England that I know want to move over here. Mm. Well, there and there's go. people everywhere. You know, if you're looking and Hartford County living, it makes sense to have a realtor on there. It does. It's natural. Yeah. I want to compliment you because your website, although it could be very crowded, you know, like I see a lot of websites. Mm -hmm. Yours is not. Well, thank you. Although you have a lot of sponsors. So it still feels like an informational website. And then here, look over here. This this person you may be interested in. I think mm -hmm. it'd be very easy for you to make a cluttered website. Uh, be honest, when I first started, I think it was cluttered. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm big on, you know, if I have sponsors or advertisers, I'm big on pushing them. Mm -hmm. You got to. I mean, HartfordCountyLiving.com wouldn't be running right now if it wasn't for them. For the sponsors. Yeah. Yeah. Because believe it or not, it has become a full time job for me. That's awesome. Yeah. What, what a so, cool way to make a living. I, I love it. You know, but um, it, it's, yeah, if it wasn't for the sponsors and the advertisers, it, it would be it's gone. As a matter of fact, I've even had two companies offer to buy Just buy the it. website. Yeah. yeah. Because you have that many visitors, it's a big deal. Yeah. Now, you're not with the government. Okay, a lot no. of people think you are. No, I'm not with the government. HarfCanyonLiving.com is its own thing. <laughs> but you do a podcast with the health department? It's with the Harf County Health Department, which is actually a state agency. We do a monthly podcast with them. Um, we do a weekly podcast, but we do a monthly podcast with them. And then the other ones are, again, another way for, bit like what you do, right. for businesses to come on and talk about them. Right, our friend Joe Ehler was on. Yeah, right. Joe was on. Heather Lynch was on. Um, Your formats are usually longer, right? Average about an hour. An hour because it's roundtable discussion. We have a group of us sit around, and I like that because our format ten minutes. Mm -hmm. We have to like dive into it, get to the point. Right. But you, you can have a natural flow. See where the conversation goes. It's much different. It's really good. It's, it, yes, and it can be interesting at times too. Because <laughs> see where there's it goes. some yeah, there's some good things that come up and some strange things. So. <laughs> That's what yeah. makes it fun, though. Yeah, it is. It's like sitting around, drinking coffee, and just talking. Because you look at Joe Rogan's, he has like three, four hour long. Oh, movies, yes. Right? And the conversations get weird. And it's, what, I think still the number one podcast in the world, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I believe it. All right, we'll wrap it up there. Rich Bennett, HartfordCountyLiving.com. Thank you for being here. Thanks a lot, Jesse. Now it's your turn to come on to mine. All right. <laughs>
What's even more remarkable is their dedication to giving back to the community. They aggressively support and uplift the neighborhoods they serve, making a positive difference in people's lives. I feel incredibly grateful and humbled to have chosen Tar Hill Construction Group for my roof. They have earned my trust and respect for being the only contractor to be voted Harford's best roofing contractor and Baltimore's best roofing contractor in the same year. So if you're looking for top-notch roofing and exterior solutions, look no further than Tar Hill Construction Group. Visit their website at tarhillconstructiongroup.com or give them a call at 410-638-7021. Again, that's 410-638-7021. Experience the excellence and community impact for yourself. Tar Hill Construction Group, building excellence one roof at a time. 